Okay, now. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Are you happy with this? Yeah. Alright. Gonna start in three, two, one. Hi there, I'm Lynn. And I'm Paul. And we're back, everybody! After a long hiatus. We're not dead! I know, we're still living and kicking and fighting. I know, they try to put us down, but we said no. We're not like old Yeller who's gonna roll over and take it like a little bitch. How could you say that? He was a boy. But he did. He rolled over and took it like a bitch. He had rabies. Spoiler alerts? Ah. Oh, maybe uh, I'm thinking about where the red, where the red fern grows. Oh, no, I'm sad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, no speaking more. about uh, uh, the misuse of animals, you guys might have <laughs> caught on to the new game that we're going to be playing. It's Pack a Plus. Now, Len has shown me the pictures and the stills of the game, and when I saw it, I was like, holy crap, i got to play this. Because I thought it was freaking hilarious how in, like, one picture, you see this girl with, like, this, like, Wendy skirt thing going on. You're like, oh, my goodness. And then, then like, in the next picture, you see the freak <laughs> a freaking picture of her as an alpaca, like, playing the violin as well. I was just like, all right, we got to play this. This looks awesome. So I think everyone's kind of figured... Like in the same vein of a tuffle boyfriend, we're dating again. Except this time we got people who, well, you guys will see. Let's show them. Yeah, but anyways, we can play the trial version, but if the game is good enough, I think I might actually talk Lynn into buying the full game, and we're just going to have to play it by ourselves. We'll make sure to let you guys know all the juicy, farmy details. <laughs> that sounds so sinful. No, um... For the developers will only let us play the trial version for video junk, so sorry. Right, but anyways, a little bit of something is better than nothing. On with the show, and start. The melody of a violin from a distance. <gasps> I like the little alpaca with, in the corner. With an alpaca humping the ground. Yeah. Harmonious sound, thump, thump. <laughs> Sun shining gently and soft wind blows through the summer and the uh, highland hump, hump ground. I am still standing on the grass, <laughs> moisted with the morning dew. Oh, I hope it's just the morning dew. Closing my eyes in silent. That English. Mm hmm. And straining my ears to catch the cool sound. <laughs> what is wrong with your voice? And uh, alpaca humping the ground would make kind of cool sound. It'd be like, eh, 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 Stop. <laughs> no, I'm scared. <laughs> Are you like a derped out alpaca? Yes. <laughs> Next to me is my loved one. Oh, holding hands and want to be here forever. I think I really need to change the the visual text speed. Maybe we could do that real quick. All right, let's do that. Uh, text display speed. Max, because we'd like to live on the edge. Living on the edge. Let's see how fast it goes. Oh, what instantaneous. The? Jeez. Hey, isn't it summer vacation? Why is my alarm clock going off? I'll sleep again. Psyche Kazuma. Hold maliciously on the dream and the pillow. Get it into my head that I oversleep. I'll give you a dollar if you can figure out what that sentence was supposed to mean. He sudden phone call kicks out my lazy thought. Oh, my stars and stripes. They were not kidding when they said it was an amateur translation. And I kind of, you guys can't hear it because, you know, we want to avoid stri stri any strikes at all, but there's like this cute poppy music going on in the background. This sounds like an actual anime opening. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, little high school girls. Hello? Oh, 
Oh, Yukari. Oh, my bad. Hello. Oh, Yukari. Are you sure awake? <laughs> Are you awake? I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm up. Well, I woke up now. What's up early in this morning? Oh, she's kind of talking. You guys can't hear her, but I think there's actual Japanese voiceovering. Today is the presentation of the school festival. Don't forget it. I'm going to add my own twist to the reading words thingies. <laughs> Uh, I think that's fair. I think the uh, translators pretty much did the same. What? Oh, sure, sure. I almost feel like Google Translate should be getting something for this. That's mean. Hmm, are you alright? Yes, I'll get ready in a minute. Still, in the summer vacation, but today, the school festival preparation begins. Wait. They have a school festival during summer break, or...? Well, uh, I bet you if we play Persona 4 and we go through it again, we would understand. <laughs> Persona 4! Giving us insight into Japanese life and culture. Respect to the elderly day. I become the executive committee member from my girlfriend, Yukari's word. Let's do it with me! Oh my. I thought. Is he, like, basically saying, Oh, maybe she wants to have sex with me. Oh, wait, never mind. And it, like, I, I thought if I joined the committee, I'd get some. Obviously, I'm not. You know what? That's what we gotta do. We gotta look at this from, a, like, a horny young Japanese guy's perspective. <laughs> and we need to translate it thus. I'm waiting at the bus stop. I'm held captive by a tentacle monster. Have your breakfast, right? <laughs> I think yeah. that's supposed to be my line, but that works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Yukari is like my mother. Yeah, tell that to your girlfriend on the phone. Hey, stop messing around. Get ready now. All right, same time at the same place. Same bat time, same bat channel. After awakened by Yukari's phone call, I changed my clothes and got on my lovely car. I mean, my lovely bike, and left home as soon as possible. I was about to say, I thought you couldn't drive until you were 18. Dang. His beautiful bike. I pedal my bike desperately to the school. <laughs> desperate, oh, desperate. I gotta get to school. Oh, sweet lollies. Yukari had to get to the, had to had got on the bus as usual, so I don't wait want her to wait. <sighs> Arrived at the bus stop near the school out of breath and felt the sweat on my forehead. Oh yeah. That young shonen sweat. So sweaty. Steadying my breathing, I was waiting the bus which Yukari should got on. In a minute, a guri with long hair got off the bus which came on time. <laughs> she came on time because I did my job correctly. Good morning, Kasuma. Greets me brightly with the same smile. Her name is Asumi Yukari. I'm telling you all this because even though I've been dating her for a long time, I need to remind myself who she is. Da amnesia. My classmate in private St. Koei High School, first A class, and she's my girlfriend too. <gasps> Scandalous. We hold hands. <gasps> shining, shining tresses, a shoe button and gentle eye, and too slight to hug that I could break at once. Oh yes, like good Japanese girl. Yes, yeah, for us, I'm going to get a hug. A oh, nice you're... hug. Oh, I could break you like a toothpick. Wait, what? Are you threatening her? No, that's what it's saying. It's saying that she's so slight that he could break her in her hands if he hugs her, that kind of thing. Oh, oh. But dang. Get Any... your calcium, kids. Anyway, too lovely to be my girlfriend. A uh, guri friend. That is Asumi Yukari. Good morning. Oh, you still look so sleepy. Absolutely. Cause I've been dreaming about you. Oh man, you must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. Uh. <laughs> I wanted more sleep, but I can't keep Yukari waiting alone. Yeah, cause it's a dating sim, so someone would come and get her anyway if we left her there. So I came here as possible, but I don't need to appeal that. 
I changed my topic. Was it too hot? It was a hot topic. <laughs> By the way, Yukari, what do you what do our class do in the school festival? Oh, did you forget everything? We're going to do it at a maid cafe. Oh yeah. Now I remember. How can you forget maid outfits? I bet you <laughs> didn't remember. That's a cute expression. No, I do remember. I think. Can you really think? She was right. <gasps> I totally forgot. Space Cadet. You were there when we decided what our class was going to do. Yukari was half fed up, but kindly and carefully explained about our class amusement. Made cafe. Ooh, high school now, girls. was that a typo or was that, you know, actual, mm, our class amusement? Mm, girls dressed up as maids. Serving me a hot cup of leche, if you get my drift. Oh my goodness. Oh, stop, stop. They're, Thanks, they're underage. Stop it. Thank you, Yukari. You put a lot of extra cream into this for me. Oh, 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 you're, oh. oh oops. I got it all over my lip. Stop it. <laughs> the beginning was someone in class remembered the trip to, into Tokyo on holiday, and the maid cafe was prosperous in Akihabara. Oh, it's that one technology slash nerd district. Boys turned thumbs up, and the prosper head cheering and clapping, but the problem was how to bring girls to terms. Excuse me, ladies, we're going to totally um, just use you f for our class thing. Um, you're okay with that, right? Surprisingly, the problem had got out of the way easily. Most part of the girls acclaimed that I want to wear the maid you costume, and in fact, I have one of those. I'm terrified to know why Japanese schoolgirls have maid outfits. When the class leader, Shinozawa Ayaka, said, I will take responsibility to prepare the costume that suits all the girls in the class. Fabulous. No one objected, and finally our class decided to locate the maid cafe. Wait, they're oh, not going to make it? They're going to go find one? I guess so. Oh. That was the story. And we're sticking to it. So gripping. Hey guys, we should do a maid cafe. Hey girls, what do you think? Oh, I'd rather not. Come on, you gotta do it because you're Japanese women. Uh, okay. And that was the story. <laughs> Hooray for racist stereotyping. That's what it was. They talked about like, oh, maid cafe. And the girls were like, oh, I don't know. And all the guys clapped and hooted and hollering because that's what that translation was. And then... Like, the girls were like, hey, you know what? We all have maid outfits, because we all know that one day we're going to have to fulfill the needs of some kind of creepy Japanese businessman. So, let's do it. <laughs> what the chuck? It's like watching Memoirs of the Geisha all over again. Oh. So, let's go on forward. Many are rolling their graves now. To choose cafe is less m way to make money, but I'm satisfied if I could see Yukari wearing maid costume. <gasps> she was made for it. Oh, while talking, our school came into our view. Looking up at the sky at the sunlight, getting strong. As opposed to being weakened. The merciless sun in summer beats down to us. Into the ground. Today is going to be a hot day. Better dress warm. Alpaca warm. When we got into the class, the leader, Shinozawa, was waiting alone. Alone, because this is as far as we're going to get today! Aww, okay. I know. We have time constraints on us now. YouTube! So, next time, we're going to organize maid cafes! And hopefully by the time that curse settles in, and we get to get a little bit furry. <laughs> Stay awesome, everyone. Bah.